GI dysfunction, it can be classified in terms of, sort of lower versus upper GID, and then again from um, mild to nausea. So mild, you can see here, is typically um, more uh, mild nausea, a bit of flatulence, etc., um, and it can lead on to bleeding and potentially death in very rare situations. And that's often associated with sort of more ischemic colitis and heat shock. Um, so it doesn't impact just race performance. Um, I don't know who here does do racing and who's been affected by it, but it also impacts training and recovery quite significantly. Um, and it is anecdotally cited as the most likely reason for underperformance in a race as well. Um, there's a study by Jukundrup et al. Um, all, all of my references are at the back here, if you want to go and look at them later. Um, reported up to 93% of athletes reported symptoms in an Ironman. Um, that is more unusual. Typically, um, it's around 30 to 50%. Um, <coughs>